Community in Butternut Creek experiences a lot of costs and benefits from being in an older watershed that was developed earlier. A lot of riparian vegetation was removed. So it's subject to more flooding. It's subject to conflicts with beavers and wildlife. So the three main parts of this project are handling the stormwater that runs off of the roads, the businesses, the homes, the school. The second part of it is to make the stream more resilient and able to handle changes in flows that happen every winter, every summer. And then the last one is to engage this community and have a good relationship with the neighbors. In order to make the stream more resilient, we had to do a fair amount of analysis of the whole watershed. We looked at the levels of flooding that occurred in the wintertime, many of which are natural flooding. And then the last part of it is to do analysis of what kinds of wildlife habitat and vegetation needs would meet the community of plants and animals that you typically find along a stream. We took water that would normally be destined for detention basin and in an upland area and held there for a time period so it doesn't increase the volume in the creek. We allowed that water to go directly into the creek and we put wood and other materials into the creek to slow down that water and allow the floodplain to act like a big sponge, which is what floodplains should do. Clearwater Services came to classrooms and talked to them about what the creek was, what it was doing, about the whole like water pollution, things that they can do to protect the environment in general. Clean Water Services and the school created this art project type of contest, either of what they hope to see in the creek or something they actually did observe. Uh, during this process, students created uh, some art pieces and we selected about 60 of these art pieces to be engraved on the beaver posts that are around the creek. The school and the community has many people that are Spanish speaking, so things are translated in Spanish as well. Just involving the school was such a key to the success of this. You, you got people's attention through the kids. People are, are just going to want to know more about the project because of that connection. I'm very excited about this project so that they can learn more about nature and the creek and hopefully learn to respect it and go on to respect other natural resources that they come in contact with. Really hoping students will have this sense of ownership with the project and that in the long term it will also help maintain what has been created here. When you bring a school into a project like this, what you're doing is you're inviting the entire family in through the kids. And I'm just hoping that more and more folks are going to be more involved in projects like this in the future, which is only going to be good for the projects themselves and the unity of the community. So I hope the kids here in this community and the community members, you know, continue to connect with this creek. I connect with it and I really enjoy that a lot about that.